Welcome to Tech Learners. Like our video and for latest updates and videos, please subscribe the channel. Today we will learn how to run and execute our Java program. So to run and execute our Java program, we'll need to open the notepad. We'll need one editor. So let me open the notepad. We'll run the notepad as administrator. In the notepad, we'll write our first Java program starting with the keyword class and we'll give the name of our program as Java program. Within the class, we need to specify the main function. So to specify the main function, we write public static void main and we'll pass the parameter string args. So now by the curly brackets within the function, we need to write a printing statement let us say system.out.print within this printing statement within the parameter we'll type a string for example my first java program each statement in java program is terminated by the semicolon so now we'll close the statement and we'll close the class so as we can see this is the public which is the uh, access specifier static is the modifier void is the return data type of a class of a function this is the main which is the name of the function has to be the same string args is the parameter of the function system is a class which is used to print the statements by using a function print within the print function we have passed a parameter my first java program and as we know any string in the parameter is a open and enclosed by the double quotes and a statement will be terminated by semicolon we'll close the function and this is the closing of the class now let us save our uh, first java program to save the java program we need to go to the location where we have the bin folder of our java which is uh, we can see into the <coughs> c drive within c drive we'll go to the program files within program files we'll have the java folder within the java we'll get inside the jdk and inside the bin to save the java program we must note that the name of the file must be same as the class so we have the class name as java program with the extension dot java so we will save the file with the extension dot java so once we have saved the file we need to execute and we need to open the command prompt so we'll open the command prompt again we'll open by run as administrator in the command prompt we'll change our directory to the path specified in the java which is the c program files java then jdk 12.0.1 and bin folder so once we are in the bin folder we need to write the compiler command java c with a space we'll write the name of the file we have recently stored which is java program dot java we'll click enter after enter the file is compiled and now we need to execute the file by using the command java and the name of the file java program so this is the output we have written my first java program so we have successfully compiled and executed our first Java program.